Hey guys, Crypto Dad here, and today I'm going to show you how to buy Litecoin on Coinbase and GDAX and then transfer it to your Ledger Nano S. So let's get going. Hey guys, so epic fail. I recorded this entire video and the microphone was not functioning. So I'm going to have to do voiceover here, but rest assured I will walk you through this process quickly and easily. We're going to purchase some Litecoin on Coinbase. We're going to transfer it into GDAX free and easy and quickly to save ourselves some money on fees. And then we're going to transfer it over to our Ledger Nano S. I left a link down in, in the description on where you can purchase your Ledger Nano S. Okay, so one of the great advantages of this voiceover is that I pared it down to just the essentials. We're going to sign into our Coinbase, enter our two-step verification. Now, what I want to do is go to buy and sell here, and I'm going to choose Litecoin because it is the fastest and easiest way. I want to use my debit card because that makes the transaction happen even quicker. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and buy one Litecoin. Litecoin is cheap today. So we just enter the amount. We'll go down there to buy Litecoin instantly. Once we click that, we'll do a confirm. And you'll notice that the Litecoin appeared in our wallet almost instantaneously. It was that simple. The next step is to go over to GDAX. GDAX is the trading platform owned by Coinbase. And when we transfer our Litecoin in there, it's going to be free and then once we get it in there, then uh, we'll be able to transfer it out with no fees as well. So I make sure I'm in the Litecoin market and I'm going to do a deposit. And as you can see here, the Coinbase account is linked right into GDAX. It shows my Litecoin balance in Coinbase. So all I need to do is enter that amount or whatever uh, smaller amount I'd like. And then I just choose deposit funds. And that instantly transfers the Litecoin from my Coinbase into my GDAX account. It was that simple. So the next step is getting our ledger prepared. We want to make sure we have the Ledger Wallet Bitcoin app. Should go through the install here. This is a Chrome app. It's going to install directly into Chrome. As you can see, I already have it in my Chrome browser. And the next piece of the puzzle here is the Ledger Manager. The Ledger Manager allows us to add and subtract altcoin apps on the Ledger Manager, on the Ledger itself. So we are, we're going to make sure we have that installed into our Chrome browser. And just go down here and click Install, and it gets installed into Chrome. Okay, so now we need to get our Ledger Nano and connect it using the appropriate cable. You'll notice there's a little icon for Ledger on the cable, so it won't get uh, mixed up with any of your other cables. Uh, we're going to need to enter the pin. And we'll be at the home screen of the Ledger Nano. We're going to want to make sure that we have Litecoin support enabled on our Ledger Nano. If we don't have Litecoin on there, uh, we're going to use the Ledger Manager to add Litecoin support. As you can see, here's the Ledger Manager, and uh, we just click this little down arrow uh, to install Litecoin support onto the Ledger Nano. And once we've done that, we just uh, go into the Litecoin app uh, using both buttons. And once we've entered Litecoin support, we can enter the Ledger Nano Bitcoin wallet, which also supports the altcoins. And I'm going to choose Legacy today. And you'll notice when we use this Ledger Wallet Bitcoin wallet app in Chrome, it shows us a Litecoin balance. That is because we entered the Litecoin app on the Ledger before we launched this wallet. You can see my balance there. Now, uh, we're going to do a receive and it generates a Litecoin address for us. We're just going to copy that guy. And once we've got that in our clipboard, we're going to head right back over to GDAX. Make sure we're in Litecoin markets and this time we'll do a withdrawal from GDAX to a Litecoin address. 
So I'm going to enter the amount that I want to transfer. In this case, it's the one Litecoin. And I'm going to paste in that address that I copied over from the Ledger wallet. And then we enter our two-step authentication code and click withdraw. And there you go. It was quick and easy. So now that we've withdrawn the funds from GDAX, let's go over and check our Ledger Nano wallet app and see if the uh, Litecoin has come in. Uh, so I'm here back in the wallet. I'm just going to do a quick refresh. And lo and behold, that one Litecoin uh, showed up right away. By using GDAX, I saved on the network fees, and it happened quick and easy. It was as simple as that. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. There's also a bell next to the subscribe button, which will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new videos. Sorry about the uh, audio issues and hope you have a great day.